So, thank you everyone for coming. I know a lot of people here, there's some people I don't. So I'm Philippa White, I'm the founder and CEO of TAI, or the International Exchange. And this is a celebration of action. First, I just want to say thank you so much to Leo Burnett for hosting. Uh, Leo Burnett has always held a really special place in my heart. So my first big agency job was at Leo Burnett in 2001. Uh, then our first ever Thai program was with Leo Burnett in 2007, and that was Chris Jackson who went to Brazil, and it was with the Immersive Thai program. Then COVID hit, and I think we all know it was a little, a little bit tricky. Uh, so we pivoted, and a huge thank you, massive thank you, to, oh, my sister's baby. <laughs> He agrees. Um, a huge thank you to Charlie and Carly because without your belief in Thai and just support, uh, yeah, I mean, it was you guys that were the first to embrace the virtual program after COVID. So a massive thank you for everything, uh, but also for being a company that isn't just about the talk, but about the walk and action. So before we kick off, uh, what I'd really like you all to do, please, is turn to somebody close to you that you don't know. Okay? So find somebody that you don't know. Okay. And please don't introduce yourself to one another. I'd like you each to ask each other a question. Bart's like, where is this going? Uh, I'd like you each to ask each other a question and answer it. Um, and the question is, what is your favorite sandwich and why? You have two minutes. Why, why did you do this? Because it's about creating an environment for magic to happen between people who wouldn't have normally connected. So I'm pretty sure that had I not asked you to do that, probably wouldn't have learned those nuggets about everybody that you've just spoken to. Uh, you might not have even spoken to that person. Actually, I'm quite impressed. It's actually been a really human and nice interaction tonight, but still, like you might not have learned that. And I think 
that's the key to better working relationships moving forward. It's creating those shared experiences, those unique connections, those slightly unusual situations, right? And that's what Thai is all about. So Thai is about broadening horizons. It's about working with people that you wouldn't normally work with and have those connections with people from different departments, different regions, different sectors, different countries. It's about understanding the power of vulnerability, of doing things differently, of disrupting comfort zones. So why is that important? Because when you put pressure on a system, it forces an evolution. Right? There's a lot going on at the moment. I think we all feel it. Um, climate change, recession, geopolitical challenges, political challenges. Um, I could go on. And even just saying that, I know all of you are like, can you just stop saying that? Because it's really annoying and I really don't really want to think about it. Because that's a normal response, isn't it? We don't really want to think about it. We would actually quite like to just keep going on as business as usual. But I think we all feel like if we were to say what it is, it's just really overwhelming. It's overwhelming. And our brains aren't wired in a way to be able to deal with all of this. So what do we do? We kind of shut down. We feel paralyzed, powerless. There's basically two things that we can do. We can do nothing, but I think we know that this isn't going away. Uh, we could hope it will, but I don't think it will. Or we can act. But then the question is, okay, so if we act, what do we do? Well, we need to break out of the old ways of thinking, and we need to do things differently. But I think we also know that that's not super easy, because it requires us stepping out of our comfort zones. And actually, none of us really want to do that. It's human nature. We, we kind of just want to keep feeling the same, you know, doing the same thing. So what do we need to do? We need to create the environment to allow this kind of magic to happen. So if we were to act, and if we were to break out of the ways of doing things, what do we need to do? Well, I would say it's three things. I would say first, we need to collaborate. We need to learn to collaborate. There's no one person, no one company, no one country, no one sector that has the answers to all of this. So we need to step out of this vacuum and we need to learn to connect with other people. But that's not easy because it requires stepping back up. The second thing we need to do is we need to broaden horizons. We need to step out of our silos to be able to find answers to these challenges that we're facing and to innovate. That's, that's what our companies need and that's what our countries need and that's what our planet needs. But we can't be doing the same thing all the time. Albert Einstein said that. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. And the third thing we need to do is we need to unlock the power in every single one of us to understand that we can all be the drivers of change. It's not that CEO, it's not that political leader. And actually, we all need to know that we can be a driver of change, but actually, if we are leaders, we need to help the people that are working with us that they too can be drivers of change. The ideas don't just come from one person. If we all understood the power that we had, I'm talking everybody on this planet, this planet would be in a very different place. The time is now. The thing is, it's not easy to do it. We need to create the environment for this magic to happen. And that's what we do. We yank hundreds of people out of predictable silos and expose them to real global issues that they need to solve. Then we step out of their silos out of broadening horizons. They work with people they wouldn't normally, with constraints at the core. And what does that do? That unleashes people's purpose, potential, and power. The way we do that, we are kicking off in 2023 a Thai Global Insights opportunity. We're not gonna have examples of that this evening, but just so you know, it's on the table. We're Future proof, we are going to be providing future proofing workshops for larger groups. But tonight, what we're going to be talking about, we've got examples of virtual team tie, which is what we launched after COVID, cohort groups coming together, short term 
six weeks, two hours a day, you can do it virtually. And it's super powerful for all the reasons we've just said. And immersive Thai, which is what we started Thai with, but uh, we had Niall this year who went out, and so he's going to talk about what he did. We've also got Jim talking, and we've got Michael, and we're going to kick off with you, where Michael's going to talk about what's wrong with corporate life. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of reasons to be optimistic. <coughs> Michael comes from Santander. We worked with Santander um, this year. We had a cohort, and we're going to be working together with them next year is the plan. So, over to you. Thank you.